Hello, hello, everybody. It's with Prof Job. We're back again with a new video by Viritacion. I mean, it's not a new video, but it's a new video to me. Hopefully, to you guys, maybe. I don't know. This is Do People Understand the Scale of the Universe? Let's see if people understand. Do people really anything, understand honestly. the scale of the universe? Damn, I mean, I've played Solaris okay. like three times. This task is going everything. to seem ridiculously easy. Rank Probably these is. Uh, things from okay. smallest at the top to biggest on the smallest. Okay, first off, moons orbit the planet. Planets orbit stars. Stars make up a gal no galaxy and the galaxy makes up the universe, right? A hey, big brain, brother. I'm pretty sure that the bottom. goes. I'm pretty sure. But okay, sometimes... I'm sure about these three, and then I'm pretty sure about the galaxy. So you have yeah, to I'm, ask I'm the question. Sure no one would bother to sound. in order to figure out what people are and actually. Pretty thinking. much everybody should this get this, really right? Especially the moon. Literally, our moon is called moon. So, all, you know the moon orbits the Earth, and you know the Earth orbits the Sun, which is a star. Bam, those three should be automatic done. Okay? GG, easy. Skills to the test. So, moon... I don't know, moon... Bro, yeah, what do you mean you don't know the moon? I the stars are the smallest. But the sun is Yeah, bro. Like a science you dumb dumb? I'm gonna say planets are it's the science smallest. Science. I'll like, say planets wow. might be the top of the line. Is the sun bigger than the moon? It depends on the planet. Right? Yes! It does, but as a general category... Stars... Then moons. Oh my god. Yeah, stars. Yeah. Around the planet. It's the sun is a star, right? I think. Yeah. Yes. You think this one's next? Okay, I he's helping you. them though. They're, talking... They're asking questions, he's answering. What about a galaxy, bro? We're talking yeah, everything. Bro. You looking yeah, at the galaxy too. But then the universe though, that's like, that's straight <laughs> like, up everything. Okay. I think it's this one and then this one. You're right. You can. Wait, no. Yeah. Unless you believe in the multiverse, then you know. They but that's Marvel shit, okay? Maybe this this I don't know. You're maybe taking this like, like four dimensional chess level. I yeah, think maybe start thinking about bigger, one dimensional no? non chess level. I mean, level. you think, right? Because like, like words it, it looks and then bigger. sentences. Yeah, shit. is this supposed maybe to be start like from a science from... lesson? Okay, don't <laughs> like, there is, I need to not be this some science to this. Okay, I mean, we are not astrology majors. No, no, you don't need to be. You know, you can see the moon. What does the the moon do around the Earth? It orbits it. What does the Earth orbit? The Sun. Bam. Three automatics. <laughs> After that, it's like, okay, fair so enough. So what is a moon? Like, how's a moon different from a planet? Um, Actually, I don't know the of dust, strength. maybe. The way that they come about in astrology and like the... I don't know the basic definition of a moon. What is it? You know, like the meteors. Some shit that orbits the Earth. Like, like a planet on the Earth. Because planets have multiple moons on them. And a planet has its own, like, I don't know. I think atmosphere. a planet is capable of having its yes. own atmosphere or something. And then I mean, the atmosphere of the moon and the planet are completely different. Whether or not it has like an atmosphere. I get why some people would think this. You should be able to get this. They give like five intelligence. This is because the Earth has an atmosphere five while our moon has essentially no atmosphere. But Titan, Saturn's largest moon, actually has a thick oh. atmosphere. Damn. While Mercury has okay. no substantial atmosphere. So if having an atmosphere isn't what makes a planet, then what is it? You don't know if the moon has people on it. It could. Um, yes, we do. I mean, unless we send the people, there's no people on the planet, uh, the moon, okay? You what think the, the moon could have people on it? There could be moon people, we never know. I'm thinking like orbits or something, something around there. I think I think natural satellite is the term used, so so they, you, you'll always have moons around a planet, you, you can't see a planet around a moon. Okay. How many planets do we know of? Oh shit, probably a lot. Uh, I mean, there's a lot, people know a lot of shit. Uh, <laughs> a lot. Mm, <laughs> mm, I don't know. I well, guess. Let's see, a seven, eight? Seven or nine? Do we have 11? <laughs> Come on, system? bro. I think a planet it has to be a certain size to be considered a planet, because if you look at Pluto, they just say it's not a planet because it's too small. Pluto yeah, they did join. Pluto they fucked up Pluto. They did my board. Everyone knows the board story of, of Pluto. Because like, everybody loves Pluto. I mean, don't. Wait, when Pluto was. Blue people really love Pluto. I mean, Pluto's kind of cute, but. Like. Discovered in 1930, it was hailed the ninth planet. Hmm. But it quickly became clear that Pluto was different. The real nail in the coffin came on the 5th of January, 2005, what when astronomers then? discovered Eris, Eris, an object in the Kuiper Belt that's around 30% more massive than Pluto. Mm -hmm. Similar large objects had already been discovered and more were likely to follow. So scientists faced a choice, either add a whole bunch more planets or, or demote, demote Pluto. Pluto. In 2006, the decision was made, and a new definition for a See planet a was established. You should just, so, like, get over it. A planet Pluto again. had it coming from the beginning. Stay Why? In your stay in your lane. Our moon our has moon? five times the mass of Pluto. Yeah, so but just, what? just get over it. Was our moon just, a planet? No. It's a moon. It's a moon. Yeah, to be a planet, an object now had to satisfy us, three criteria. Okay. First, it must orbit the sun. Uh -huh. Second, oh. it must have enough self- 
the sun or a sun? Gravity, so that it's round or almost round.、Mm. And third, it must be gravitationally dominant and cleared out its neighborhood.、Mm, fair enough. Pluto satisfies the first two criteria, but not the third. Wait, what? So now we're back to the set of、what、planets Pluto? without Pluto. What's bigger than Pluto? Mercury, Pluto. Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Oh, it's eight. Uranus. Nice. <laughs> Any name to model. Bonus points. <laughs> How many planets? Bro, I can't put them in order. Be, I, I used to be able to do this. I can't do this shit no more. Outside the solar system. A gazillion? I don't know. It's a big、maybe、ass number. Maybe around a couple hundred to a thousand.、Maybe? Nah, there's way more, bro. Probably a couple million. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. More than that. Yeah, I don't know the number, the number, but I mean, in terms of、done. the number that we know, is about five thousand right now. Oh, okay. Oh, that, that have been identified,、way. but like, I thought it was going to be、right. way more. There's、many more, but we just haven't haven't、oh. seen them yet. Okay, so there's potential being many more. So the moon's the smallest. They go around the planets. Planets go around the stars. What makes a star a star? Uh, kind of like a dead planet, have right? Planets circling it or some shit, bro. I don't know. Like, like it's just emitting heat. Like little gas things, and they explode all the time, and we don't even see them. But I don't、That's、know、cool、where they shirt, come from.、Though. Can you tell me? If you have a bunch of just like gas, as you say, like hydrogen, helium, that all kind of clumps together,、uh-huh. it forms a star. And then, like、oh. you say, there's like fusion in the middle, the explosions in the middle that are giving out light and heat and stuff like wow. that. Wow, you just taught me something new. I didn't even know that. Wait, she put stars first. Come on, brother. Does it take eight Earths to fill the sun? A million Earths. A million Earths. I got it wrong. Okay, I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but like it's a lot, right? Yeah, Here's but it's a lot. one way to put this in perspective.、Uh-huh. In our solar system, there are eight planets, hundreds of moons, millions of asteroids, and more. But in terms of mass, all that only makes up. 0.14 percent of the mass of our solar system. The other 99.86 percent of the mass、Emptiness. is the sun. Oh, that is just、mind. how much bigger and more massive the sun is. Okay, I've never actually seen those. Bro, the sun is. I thought it was big, but I was like, it's kind of bigish, right? But not, not like 99.80 percentage is of everything. The smallest and planets and stars. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Well, hey, like, big brain, bro.、Uh, a group of planets in, I'd say, circling the sun. I think that's pretty much like it, right? Like the solar system, like the system of planets. So, like, just how we have our solar system is what makes the galaxy. Ten of、like、stars, moons, and、bit. planets in together makes the galaxy. Maybe just a collection of like solar systems. <laughs> so, how many is a collection of solar systems?、Mm. How how big is a galaxy? That is the worst question somebody can ask you when you're trying to bumble your way out of the answer. How many stars? The same basic shit that's come to your mind.、Uh, Probably not right. You know it, and they know it. Wait, 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 wait It shouldn't be right, right? Because the star is bigger than the planet. So, a thousand? Probably hundreds of millions. Do we millions. know of? And million? A shit ton of? We don't know. Million? How many do we know? Hundred billion. Oh, you are way off. That's a lot of you. That's a, why is there so many stars and not that many planets? Hundred billion stars. Damn, really? That's okay. The number That's of stars in the galaxy that can vary depending on the size of the galaxy, but like. Yeah. Hundred billion, two hundred billion, three hundred billion, fifty billion. Like that's like kind of、okay. the ballpark. Okay. But the average、galaxy. is a hundred billion. Average, yeah. That's crazy. That's a、right? big ass、yeah. number. <laughs> so that's zero. Oh, there's、shit. a funny question. Are there more trees on Earth or stars in our galaxy? In our galaxy, I guess more If... trees. How many trees、oh, are on Earth? Actually,、mm, I'm now thinking about like a math problem where it's basically you have to find, I guess, the whole entire surface area of that. Ooh.、Huh. The answer is, I'll save you the trouble. There are more trees on Earth than there、oh, are stars. Let's go, in the, in the Earth! Galaxy, in our Milky Way galaxy. You know what figures? You know. <laughs> so a galaxy is a huge galaxy. collection of stars, planets, gas, dust, dark matter, and other objects,、uh-huh. all bound together by gravity. Damn.、That's、and then, what、hell. what is around the Milky Way galaxy? Um, more galaxies. There are more galaxies, but they're kind of far away. Uh huh. So what's between us and those other galaxies? Dust. Uh, 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 like all types of vastness, you know, vastness. supernovas. Dark matter. Stars. Dark matter. Always watch Marvel. You know, Marvel this、that. is the thing that I find nuts, and one of the things I wanted to see if people know, but like, 
the Milky Way is like one galaxy, but it's huge. Mm -hmm. right. It's like 100,000 light years across. That's pretty big. Mm, you know what I mean? Pretty big, yeah. But then around us, there's nothing. Oh, wow. I didn't Basically know. nothing. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. like... How is nothing nothing? Like the continent, Is nothing right? still something? Continent, but then around it, like, there's all this ocean. Yeah, but there's water. And then it's not, not there's nothing. like more galaxies. And then there's nothing. And then more galaxies and nothing. More galaxies and nothing. But this animation is not to scale. Well, to scale. Really, it should look more like this. The distances between galaxies are enormous, Damn. typically millions of light years. Uh -huh. If you zoom out further, you find that galaxies are grouped together in clusters, and those clusters make up even larger superclusters, yeah. all Damn. separated by enormous voids. And you know how many galaxies there Big. are in the universe? Uh, I'll take a guess and say like 20 something. Uh, how many galaxies in the universe? Okay, let's throw a number out there. 69, brother. Let's go with 69. That's a cool Fuck number. If I know. <laughs> that, that's probably the right answer. 12? I don't know. Is, it, is that like close? It's more. 20? Much, much more. Oh, oh much, much more. more. I'm going to say 100. 420? More than hundreds. More? Thousands? More than thousands. Oh, oh my god. Brother. Gosh. <laughs> 10,000? 10,000? 10, 10, that, that's small. Uh, I mean, 10,000 galaxies, but each galaxy has got 100 yeah. million stars. 16,482. Okay, that's a very Hundreds precise number. Why did she say that number? Millions? What? Billions? One billion? Or one is that billion? is that too small? One billion galaxies, each one with 100 billion stars? I'll say 10 billion that we know of. That we know of. We don't know say? shit, though. The answer though. is... The answer is how many galaxies in the universe? About. Oh, what is happening? <laughs> starting at 100 billion. Damn. What? Okay, what, what is up with the 100 billion? Really? Okay, people really about love 100 that billion shit. Billion I mean, now that galaxies. they love it, Holy, like, seriously? Uh, yeah. That's about about 100 billion. God damn. Dang, weird. Oh, man. It is huge. <laughs> it is huge. 100 billion are observable. And those are, these are just galaxies. So they could be just. These are galaxies. Like, Each galaxy just as much then has about more. 100 billion stars. Okay. Right? That's mind-blowing a little bit. Right? A yeah. little bit. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I feel like most people don't know this scale of the universe. Yeah, that's why I'm out big. here to talk it's about like, oh. That's why I wanted to be like, it's so much bigger than almost anyone thinks. Right. In fact, there could be even more, because 100 billion galaxies is a conservative estimate. Some believe there are up to 2 trillion galaxies trillion. in the observable okay, universe. What the hell is a trillion? That's above a billion. Oh, that's, such a, that's a lot of zeros. That's brother. huge. And between all these galaxies? There's a lot of zeros. Just nothing. Nothing. <laughs> What a wacky universe, right? <laughs> and around each star, there might be on average about six planets. Mm -hmm. So that's the average. Wow. Six planets? You can think about how many moons is the average? 100 billion times six, roughly. And that's conservative. Okay. Kind of like the number of planets maybe in the universe. Mm -hmm. So it's insanely huge. Yes. Yeah. That does sound ins uh, That is actually. Wow. Mm, wow is right. I feel like it makes me less stressed because it's just a blip in the system, man. Nothing's ever that deep. Oh, so the she has that, uh, I'm high on weed thoughts. Bro, it's a person's insane. You shouldn't change and we're incredibly how you look small. at life I got at all. you. <laughs> how does that make you feel? Very to think small. about the size of it. Very small. I mean, we're already pretty small just looking know, at our planet. Feel that small. No, there's not. You still feel pretty big? I don't feel <laughs> big, but you know, I still feel like. Yeah, that doesn't change Earth anything. In particular, has a, a pretty decent amount of, of what? significant. Whatever, you know, significance. What? This is a special place for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we cool. On the 14th cool, of February, brother. 1990, the Voyager 1 spacecraft was hey, about Voyager. 6 billion kilometers from the sun when it took this picture. All you see are looking? a few rays of light and a oh, little God. dot. Carl Sagan that? described this picture best. Look again at that dot. Mm -hmm. That's here. That's home. That's us. Oh, that's us. On it? Everyone you love, that? everyone you know, oh, yeah, I remember, everyone you ever... I remember this. We've seen, we've heard this uh, quote in another video. I don't remember what video ever was. heard of. This. Every human being who ever was lived out their lives. Every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer oh. of civilization, every young couple in love, every Whoops. mother and father, inventor and explorer, every superstar, every supreme the rock. leader, every saint and sinner rock, in the history the of our species lived there on a moat of dust suspended in a sun. I was having a terrible, right? The Earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. To arena. me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish 
the pale blue dot, mm. the only home we've ever known. I'm yeah. glad you told me. Yeah, we're doing a shit job of that, right? We're fucking served up. Me something today. I appreciate it. I like learning. That's awesome. So. Well, thank you for um, being open to learning because that's so important. The thing that people are worried about is making mistakes, but you can't learn without making that mistakes. That is true. Times. Real shit. You should not be afraid of mistakes. You should, I don't know, be afraid of So many people mistakes. don't know the <laughs> basics about the universe we live in, but it can even be hard to understand the world we live in. And this has a lot to do with our media ecosystem, which often prioritizes speed Wait, over accuracy. Are we adding? Are we adding? We're adding, right? And sponsor of this video, Chain. Yeah, okay. Okay, well. Damn, I, uh, yeah, I thought our universe is, I guess, I guess, I, yeah, yeah, I did, I know, I know some shit, but I don't know shit, <laughs> damn. Just like the vastness of the universe, that is the vastness of emptiness inside my brain. Real shit. And I hope y'all enjoyed this. <laughs> Let me know which video we should check out, but Veritasium next, and I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye, everybody. Hope y'all learned something.